Well, a national expert in constitutional law is breaking down the Second Amendment for us today after a Minnesota group that advocates for the rights of gun owners filed a lawsuit against the Minnesota State Fair yesterday. And our Carly Petra spoke with Professor David Schultz to better understand both sides of this lawsuit. And Carly, what did you learn today? Well, Tom, the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus is citing the Second Amendment, Amendment to the U.S. Constitution in its suit which guarantees the individual right to possess and carry firearms. But there is more detail to it than that, according to Professor Schultz. The Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus is suing the organizers of the Minnesota State Fair for enforcing its policy banning firearms at the fair. With the metal detectors going into place uh, and them stating that they intend to turn away permit holders, that kind of forced our hand and we needed to file a lawsuit. The lawsuit, naming the defendants as the State Agricultural Society, as well as the Ramsey County Sheriff's Department. We are only including them in the lawsuit simply because they have been contracted by the fair to provide security within the fair. So we have we have no uh, under, we have no expectation that the that that the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office intends to infringe upon uh, the rights of uh, permit holders. But are anyone's rights being infringed upon? Professor David Schultz points to the 1981 Supreme Court case. District of Columbia versus Heller for clarification. What the court said in that opinion is that that individual right to bear arms um, is historically grounded either in a right to have a gun in our house to protect ourselves or that right um, to have a gun for the purposes of hunting. Schultz says the court in the Heller case never said we have an unlimited right to carry guns at any place or any time. He also says certain restrictions can still be put in place when it comes to the right to bear arms. What this group is trying to argue is that they have a, let's say, an unlimited right to, um, to, to carry arms, to bear arms, to carry a weapon with them, including in the state fair. Leaving Professor Schultz to believe the argument from Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus to fail under current interpretations of the U.S. Constitution. Not to say they, they might not win, might not be successful in changing the law, but right now the law is against them. The Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus tells us they expect a hearing on the temporary injunction portion within the next 10 days or so. As for a full hearing, that might take a few months. Tom, back to you. All right, Carly, thank you. And